In a significant ruling on October 7, the Korea Communications Standards Commission, KCSC, issued a formal warning, a legal sanction, to JTBC's newsroom for misreporting closed-circuit television, CCTV, footage during its coverage of an incident involving BTS member Suga. The incident centered on a drunk driving case, with JTBC allegedly mishandling sensitive footage that implicated an individual related to the story. This decision has ignited public interest due to the gravity of the sanction, as well as its connection to the high-profile case involving a globally recognized figure from the world-renowned K-pop group, the KCSC arrived at this decision after convening a full session at Broadcasting Hall in Mokdong, Seoul, where statements were heard from various stakeholders involved in the case. The controversy surrounding JTBC's report raised concerns about media ethics, journalistic responsibility, and privacy laws in South Korea especially in light of the immense public scrutiny surrounding BTS and their members' personal lives. The core of the issue The key issue lies in the CCTV footage broadcast by JTBC's newsroom, which the KCSC determined was used improperly during their coverage of the drunk driving incident involving an individual said to have connections with BTS's Suga. The footage reportedly showed details that were unrelated to the actual event creating potential harm to the individuals involved and misrepresenting the facts of the case. The KCSC took this breach seriously, particularly as the incident involved unauthorized disclosure of sensitive visual material. In South Korea, the use of CCTV footage is tightly regulated, and improper use, especially by major broadcasters like JTBC, can lead to serious legal repercussions. The broadcasting of such footage without proper authorization or context is considered a violation of journalistic integrity and a breach of privacy laws, leading to the legal sanction issued by the commission. This warning is not a mere slap on the wrist. It is categorized as a legal sanction and marks a formal violation in the eyes of the KCSC. This type of sanction can have serious consequences for broadcasters, especially in cases where their broadcasting licenses come up for renewal. Repeated offenses or failure to adhere to broadcasting standards could lead to more severe penalties, such as program suspension or even fines. KCSC's decision process The decision to sanction JTBC followed a meticulous review process. The KCSC held a full session where various parties involved in the case presented their statements. This included representatives from JTBC as well as individuals connected to the case. The commission weighed the evidence and listened to both sides before delivering their final ruling. During the meeting, KCSC commissioners expressed concern over the increasing number of cases where CCTV footage was being mishandled by broadcasters. They highlighted the responsibility that news programs have when it comes to presenting factual, ethical, and respectful coverage, especially when the subject matter involves high-profile individuals like BTS members who are often the focus of intense public and media scrutiny. The commission also discussed how JTBC's actions could exacerbate the already heated atmosphere surrounding BTS's members, who have been under public scrutiny since their enlistment in the military. Misrepresenting the case in such a manner could further damage the trust between broadcasters and their audiences, as well as harm the privacy and reputations of those involved. Broader implications The KCSC's decision is likely to serve as a precedent for how the Commission handles similar cases in the future. By issuing a formal warning to JTBC, the KCSC has sent a clear message to other broadcasters about the importance of adhering to ethical standards in reporting. The Commission emphasized that while news outlets have the right to report on matters of public interest, this right does not extend to violating privacy or misrepresenting facts. This is especially important in South Korea's current media landscape, where public figures like BTS are frequently at the center of news coverage. As one of the most popular K-pop groups in the world, BTS members face immense pressure from both fans and the media, and incidents like this one only add to the complexities of their public and private lives. The warning issued to JTBC serves as a reminder that the media must handle such stories with care ensuring that their reporting is accurate, respectful, and lawful. The legal sanctions imposed by the KCSC could have a chilling effect on future reporting practices, particularly when it comes to the use of CCTV footage and other sensitive materials. KCSC's additional ruling, recommendation, to KBS, 1TV in addition to the legal sanction against JTBC, the KCSC also issued up a recommendation to KBS. One TV's KBS sports coverage for airing Puccini's opera Madame Butterfly on Korea's Liberation Day.
The commission deemed it inappropriate to broadcast the opera, which is set in Japan, on a day of significant national importance to South Koreans. Liberation Day in South Korea marks the country's independence from Japanese colonial rule in 1945, and the KCSC felt that airing an opera tied to Japanese culture was insensitive and potentially offensive to viewers. While the commission stopped short of issuing a legal sanction, the recommendation serves as a formal notice to KBS that such programming choices should be more carefully considered in the future. The ruling reflects the KCSC's broader mandate to oversee and maintain ethical broadcasting standards across the country. In the case of the Madam Butterfly broadcast, the commission chose a less severe penalty than in JTBC's case, but it still underlined the need for broadcasters to be mindful of the historical and cultural sensitivities of their audience, legal sanctions and their impact The legal sanctions issued by the KCSC fall into several categories, including warnings, corrections, program suspensions, disciplinary actions against those responsible, and fines. In the case of JTBC, the warning is considered a serious infraction, particularly because it can affect the broadcaster's standing when it comes time to renew their license. Broadcasting companies in South Korea must adhere to stringent guidelines, and any legal sanction can be detrimental to their future operations. For JTBC, this ruling represents a black mark on their record. The broadcaster will likely face increased scrutiny from both the KCSC and the public moving forward. It may also prompt other broadcasters to review their own practices to avoid similar sanctions. The KCSC's rulings carry significant weight in the industry, and no broadcaster wants to be the subject of a formal sanction. The KCSC's decision also raises broader questions about media ethics in South Korea. The country has a vibrant and competitive media landscape, but incidents like this highlight the potential pitfalls of sensationalist or careless reporting. With BTS being a global phenomenon, any news involving the group is bound to attract attention, but this case serves as a reminder that the media must balance public interest with respect for privacy and factual reporting. In conclusion, the KCSC's legal sanction against JTBC for misreporting CCTV footage related to BTS member Suga's case serves as a cautionary tale for the media. The ruling underscores the importance of ethical journalism and the potential consequences of violating broadcasting standards. As South Korea's media landscape continues to evolve, broadcasters will need to navigate the challenges of reporting on high-profile figures like BTS with care, ensuring that their coverage remains accurate, respectful, and in line with the law. That wraps up our coverage of the recent legal warning issued to JTBC Newsroom by the Korea Communications Standards Commission regarding their misreporting of CCTV footage involving BTS's Suga. As the story continues to unfold, We'll be here to bring you all the latest updates. So, if you want to stay informed about everything related to Suga and the BTS members, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to leave a comment below with your thoughts on this issue. Your support means everything to us, and we can't wait to share more breaking news with you soon.